Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So the ladies of R&B are keeping the drama buzzing. At first it was Latasha Scott and her sister Tamika Scott. Now it's Tamar Braxton versus Candy and Todd. I know y'all are probably like, Todd? Yes, Todd. Tamar is accusing the couple of trying to put paws on her. And when Tamar told her soon to be husband, he was ready to go to war. Well, until Candy decides to speak on it, Chronicles is going to give you the scoop and all of the tea because Tamar Braxton just went live and guess who had front row seats ready to record it all just for you guys. We are going to get into that and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on all the new tea or any breaking news that we have to cover. Now let's get back into it. So I'm scrolling on the internet this morning and I see Tamar Braxton is getting into it with Candy and Todd Tucker. And I'm like, what is going on? Now, as you all know, they had beef later last year, or at least Tamar had beef with someone that was a peach holder. She never really stated who that peach holder was, but she said that that peach holder and her husband were trying to get at her, AKA put those paws on her. Now I hit Tamar back in December of last year to get her side of the story because I had already heard it was Candy, but I don't like putting out speculation and allegations and all of that. I want to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Tamar never responded. Okay, I get it. Well, last night on Watch What Happens Live, this question was posed to Tamar Braxton. Brenna and Ruth from Rhode Island, what's your question for Tamar? Uh-oh. Hi, Tamar. Hi, Andy. And hi, hi. Ruth. Um our question is, who is the Atlanta housewife that you hinted about having beef with on Instagram? Uh, saying her and her husband threatened you. <laughs> people think it was Eva. Oh, it was not. I know who it is. It was not, and it really did happen. I'm not lying. Like, I'm not looking for attention or drama or anything like that. Right. But that really did happen. It Drew. was not cute. No, uh-uh. <laughs> she, was she a full housewife? She's a full house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not Candy. Ooh. Oh, oh my oh. lamb. I thought you and Candy mended everything after Big Brother. I thought so too. I had no idea. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you the story later. So before I get into what happened with the confrontation between Tamar Braxton, Candy, and Todd, let's first get into why they are beefing in the first place. Now this all stems from an issue that Candy Burris had with hit television producer Carlos King. Now Carlos King was once trying to make an escape movie behind Candy's back. He even tried to commission Mama Joyce into making an interview for the source material for the movie. He is the one who stole my group's um, life story and sold it to TV One. Now Candy is actually shocked that Carlos would do something like this to her because Candy has put Carlos in the position of making money several times before. Now Carlos retaliated by saying, I've been told by some folks I made you or I helped you when in fact it's the opposite, but the one who feels the need to bark is the one who's threatened by your bite. Oh, but God. Carlos posted a video of Tamar Braxton and he said, my bitch is back. And and then Tamar reposted it and said, my friend Carlos King, who don't have to steal nobody nothing. I love you. At that point, Tamar drew the line in the sand. She had just met Carlos King. So to automatically take his side before questioning Candy to see exactly where she came from, Candy was pissed. Then if that didn't show where her loyalty was, she also got on Dish Nation where she was asked about Carlos King and the Candy Burris situation and she doubled down and she was pretty much like, yeah, this happens to the best of us, so get over it. Y'all take a listen to this. I don't agree with her calling him a thief. Mm. You know what I mean? I think that's a little like, uh, well, like off the deep end. Well, what would you do if somebody tried to do this to you and your sisters? They tried well, to tell your story without your permission. Well, okay, so here was the thing. So my sister did a biopic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like everybody else was involved, but I had nothing to do with my character, and I was in my feelings about that. Okay. 
but everybody else was involved. So that's a different kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you really don't want nobody telling your own story. Right. But at the end of the day, I just feel like there are all the time unauthorized, like, you yeah. know, versions of people's lives. And it's just a part of being an entertainer. Yeah. It is a little shady to, to call her mom up and act like you're going to do an interview about all these groups mm. in the 90s and just to try to dig up information on her group. Like, that is a little... You got to watch out for reality TV producers. Yeah, and that's shady baby. But something in the milk ain't clean. I don't know. I'm not totally convinced that that's what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear from Carlos because I want to know the tea. And Candy got wind of it. She didn't like it. And she gave Tamar a piece of her mind when they went on tour. Take a listen to this. And St. Tamar's Day. Um, hey, Cora. Um, I love y'all so much. Uh, but obviously, I want to address, you know, what's really going on in the press. Because, you know, I feel like I, I've worked really hard on myself. And... I can't help if somebody asks me a question, you know, and I can't help the chains of events that actually really honestly truly happen. Now, um, it, this really all started, okay, everybody knows that I'm on Dish Nation now, right? And this really all started from a YouTube that Candy put about, put out about whatever the issues they had with Carlos King. And I was asked about it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm not like these other reality people. Like, I'm a real bona fide, five-time Emmy-nominated journalist. <laughs> Difference. So for me, I am not comfortable publicly saying or calling someone else a liar without knowing the legitimate facts. That's where I'm standing with that. Not, I wasn't on no, you know, you're not my friend. I don't want to side with you. It wasn't nothing to being messy, but my responsibility for my job and my integrity just lied in that. Or else I just would have said, oh, she lied. But really what I, what I did say is I wanted to hear both sides of the story. You know, uh, something in the milk ain't clean. Just trying to deflect from just outright calling somebody a liar. Because number one, I don't know. Number two, I don't care. Number three, it has nothing to do with me. Okay. Cool. That happened. You know, I put up a clip promoting the show from what I, from my point of view, in my story, not addressing anybody, not taking sides on nothing, because I, I really don't care. Really, doesn't have anything else to do with me. Okay. So weeks go by, four or five weeks go by, and we all have a concert together. And I'm leaving my dressing room to go to my dancer's dressing room to bring them their new clothes. And I see Candy in the hallway. And I'm like, hey, boo. And I give her a hug. You know, whatever. And she just look at me and she's like, I ain't fucking with you. And I'm like, what? What? I'm thinking she's kidding. <laughs> like, I'm for real thinking she's kidding. And she's like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm like, what? What happened? She's like, oh, well, you said that shit you said what about Carlos King was foul. And I'm like, oh, shit. I, I, and I honestly truly forgot about it, right? Um, and I'm like, listen, I didn't mean no harm. You know, I, I wasn't trying to, you know, go against you or nothing like that. It's, you know, I, just what I just explained to y'all. Like, I just feel like my responsibility is a little bit different. I ain't trying to call nobody publicly a liar when I don't know the whole story. I'm not comfortable with it. And she was like, nah, 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 nah. You said, you said, you said. And I'm like, sis, we... I'm, listen, if I offended you, I am so sorry. Like, you know, like I, I wasn't coming from that. I thought, man, you made up a big brother. You know, I wasn't coming for you. It's nothing like that. I really, truly, humbly apologize. And plus, I sent her a DM and I said, I sent you a DM, you know, when your fans was coming to my page. Um, this was a while ago. And I'm, I was just trying to let you know that, you know, I wasn't trying to be, you know, malicious or nothing like that. Nah, nah, nah. But you said, and you did, and then, and then, and then you doubled down and put it in your story. I said, listen, Kenny, I'm not trying to go there with you. You know, we in the middle of this hallway. And now, now by this time, people swarming around. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is, we ladies, we shouldn't be doing this. We can go in my dressing room. Yeah, 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 before I take it to the next level. Now, everybody know. <laughs> I ain't, you know, I ain't really here for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool and I'm safe. But I do know how to whip ass. And I don't do that because I don't condone violence at all. Right? And I'm like, well, 
take it to what's the name of the level you want to take it to? Like, what you want to fight? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You said. You said. He did. He did steal from us. <laughs> right? And I'm like, she is really serious right now. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Like, don't do that. First time for Baltimore, you, we're not going to do that. You know what I mean? And I'm telling her again, it's my fourth time apologizing. I am so sorry if this offended you, right? I wasn't trying to be malicious towards you. Now I'm saying this again. This is it all way. I'm saying this again. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, buck king. <laughs> and I'm like, and I get to the point where I'm like, look, dog. This is not a letter housewives. I'm not getting paid to sit up here and argue with you like this. I'm about to go sing everybody on this bill under the table. I got, I can't argue with you <laughs> right now. Like I finna do all that. And then I now I am trying to completely de-escalate the situation. It's giving bobs and <laughs> cackling and cacklings. And like then Tadina comes up and like he comes and get her. And he says something to her and then he looks at me in my face. Y'all can believe this shit or not. Nigga look at me in my face and go, you know what it is. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> now this is a dude. I don't care. Listen, y'all don't see me grow up on the Braxton's. Y'all don't see me go at it with my sisters. Y'all don't see me, you know, kind of like sporadically go at it with Lonnie. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the truth is, in real life, I'm really a peaceful person. You know what I mean? And I like to have fun and I laugh and play jokes all the time. And so, the thing is with me, is that me and, me and Candy or me and another female can argue all day long. But when it comes to dudes in another woman's face to physically threaten them and harm them, that's when the line is drawn. That's when it's like, oh, it's not about her perception on TV. It's not about, you know, wh where we have known her to be on, on her reality life years ago. Because remember, I ain't been on reality TV for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's okay. I get it. But there's no reason for a man to ever step to a woman. Period. And the fact is, that is what happened. And the other fact is, I wasn't trying to bring nothing up. You know, now that I'm on, you know, Peacock and, and Bravo, I went to Andy's show, which is, he's a good friend of mine. We cool. You know what I mean? He asked me about it because one of the fans asked me about it and I wasn't trying to bring it up and I wasn't trying to bring no drama in my way because I am not on that. So it's like, I answered the question. I tried to deflect from it and here we are but what i'm not going to stand for is people saying what did i do for a man to ever step to me period why are you nothing, shaking your head nothing you didn't do shit for no man to step to you that was a coward move and it shouldn't have happened and i addressed it with him and i spoke to him about it and he immediately apologized but an apology after the fact is bullshit. especially when i'm there defenseless shouldn't because happen. he wasn't this is one of those trips where troy wasn't there JR wasn't there. Like, I just, I, well, Rob was there. James was there. Um, but this is kind of one of those trips where we just kind of, like, we had like back to back shows and we just kind of got in and got out. You know what I'm saying? And normally, and I didn't even have security, you know, because really, Global Productions is like, it's like Sam and them is like real protective and family oriented. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't have a need. I'm not bothered backstage. Like, they's my family and my people. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't have a need to like be extra behind the scene with security and people and all that stuff. Like it wasn't one of those trips. And then of course, I didn't even know I was walking into the lion's den. <laughs> I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is, I'm just gonna keep it gangster with y'all. I spoke about this shit on Big Brother. Y'all called me the victim. I she's a victim then, and Tamar always starts stuff. But go back in the clips, they didn't age well. I said what I said, you know. The reason why we had beef in the first place because that was mean as fucked me on tour. I'm very, very similar to how y'all see this SWV stuff panning out. My story, 
My and I've said this big thing on Big Brother, pull the receipts. There's very much a lot of egos going on. And I ain't trying to speak about a show that I don't even watch. And the reason the reason why I can't watch it is because of the whole sister aspect. Like I I'm, I go through it, you know, and I went through it publicly with my own sisters. And I don't want to see Tasha and Tamika going through that. I love them. You know what I'm saying? We've all been friends for a very long time. And so I don't want that's the only reason why I don't watch it. Because it just triggers, you know, I don't I don't want to see that. I would just ask the question because I was on Watch What Happens Live. And that's all. And that's it. I don't want no drama. Don't associate with me with no drama. You know, I said what I said that night because I was angry and it really happened. I wish I didn't even post about it on my story. But, you know, being defenseless and you a woman with a man will really send you it will really send your emotions somewhere that we, we really don't have control over. You know what I'm saying? And I felt defenseless because I was by myself. So you can believe what you want. You got to believe me. I don't really care. This is what happened. I really don't want to speak about it no more. You know, but I don't have a reason to come after nobody. And I don't want to fight with nobody but the devil. And that's where I'm staying with it. So that's that. And that's it. And happy birthday to me. Because <laughs> this was my birthday weekend. The only thing I really wanted to talk about this on my birthday weekend. I'm telling you, we turned up. What's up? Mm. And that's it. Now, I love me some Tamar. God knows I do. But Tamar was wrong for inserting herself into this situation before Dish Nation had even asked her anything. She took to social media and said that her friend Carlos ain't got to steal from nobody. Then when she got on Dish Nation, she was asked about it and she just reinserted herself again. All she had to say was, you know what? If it happened to me, I would be upset. If what Candy is saying is true, then I would be upset. But this does happen because it's happened to me before it happened with my sister yada yada and let it go now if what tamar braxton is saying about candy and todd is true candy was out of line that is not how you handle it you stepped up to her wanting to take it to fight club todd got into it talking about you know what it is like it was just too much if that was true Candy is indeed wrong. Todd is wrong as well. So I will have to wait to see what Candy says on Speak On It because I'm definitely sure Candy is going to speak on this situation. We will know who's telling the truth or not because if Candy gets to sounding like a baby goat and starts crying. That he was trying to do a movie about us and to, be able, and to go behind my back. Candy's being honest with us. We'll see when she decides to speak on it. Other than that, I need to know what you think about this issue going on with Tamar Braxton, Candy Burris, and Todd Tucker. Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.